Mr. President, it's such an honor to have you on our show. Look, I was trying to find a show that Michelle actually watched. <laughs> you rapscallion. She doesn't watch this show. <laughs> All right, uh, Mr. Obama, you know, some people say that you're very serious, perhaps a little too deliberative, but uh, you know, let's take a moment to loosen up. I mean, I know you're the president and everything, but let's talk about some fun, juicy stuff. What do you say, like uh, that whole thing with Lindsay Lohan and all that's happening with that? And in the midst of all that, we've also had the oil spill. We've also had two wars. Uh, we've also had uh, a pandemic. Uh, H1N1 that uh, uh, we had to manage, uh, and a whole host of other issues. It, what has been gratifying is the fact that uh, the economy now is starting to stabilize and grow again, and what's been satisfying is just seeing how resilient the American people are. Mr. President, there has got to be a celebrity that uh, you just want to talk about. What about Mel Gibson? What's your thoughts on him? We went on bike rides and hikes. Together? Mr. President, have you heard some of the things he said? Let's not assume the worst of other people, but let's assume the best. Let's make sure that we get the facts straight before we act. I cannot believe you're siding with this lunatic. He's a racist. Those are the folks who I draw inspiration from because I get letters every night from them, and, and I read them, and as tough as it's been, they remain hopeful, they remain optimistic about America. Finally, Mr. President, sum it up for us. What has the Obama experience been like for the American people? Losing jobs, seeing their home values go down, yes. their 401ks declining. The country's gone through a tough stretch since, I've, uh, since I took office. 